Good morning, everyone. It's Luke and Amy here, back with another What's New Wednesday update for the library. Spring keeps inching closer, and so far, our community's COVID numbers are remaining fairly steady. Of course, we want to see those numbers to continue to fall, but we're happy to see that they aren't as high as they were just a few weeks ago. Since our numbers are remaining steady at levels that put our county in the orange category, according to the state, our libraries will remain open with limited hours and occupancy limits. We're open 9 to 4 on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and 9 to 5 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We are observing occupancy limits, and we do require face coverings for our visitors. Also, we are going to continue to limit our programs to virtual events and take-home materials for the time being. Speaking of take-home materials, we are going to continue to give away those regular activity kits through April for kids and teens. After that, we'll switch to getting ready for summer activities. It seems crazy that we're already planning those summer activities, but it'll be here before we know it. So we have started planning, and while we know we're looking at another year of virtual activities instead of our normal in-person programs, we are excited about what we can offer our community. We also have another, another virtual program that started this week for families with young children. The Kentucky Kids on the Block program uses puppets to help children learn about health, safety, and social issues. The first of our three virtual programs took place yesterday morning, but even if you missed it, you can still sign up for the two other programs coming up later this month. We'll post that link to sign up in the video description, so make sure you go sign up there if you are interested in watching these programs with your children. Teachers are also encouraged to register programs in their classrooms if they want to do so. And in other news, as always, we have some new materials to share this morning. This week in new materials, we have The Queen's Gambit by Walter Tebbis. This is a reprinting of his 1983 novel that was made into the successful Netflix series of the same name last year. It follows eight-year-old Beth Harmon as she grows into a master chess player that challenges the traditional institution itself. Clara and the Sun by Kazuo Ishiguro. His first novel since winning the Nobel Prize in Literature follows Clara, an artificial friend, as she waits in a store window for a human buyer. She's been warned not to trust the promises of humans and begins to question what is love. The Kitchen Front by Jennifer Ryan. Two years into World War II, Britain holds a cooking competition on BBC Radio to promote food rationing. The prize is the first ever female co-host job. All four contestants see winning as necessary for survival and will do whatever it takes, even bending the rules. And last we have Martha Stewart's Very Good Things, clever tips and genius ideas for an easier, more enjoyable life. In her latest book, Martha shares practical tricks that cover all areas of the home, decorating, organizing, homekeeping, cooking, entertaining, and celebrating. Stop by our library and check out these items or whatever else you're interested in. You can also call us if you prefer to use our curbside service. We'll continue to offer that service for anyone who prefers to use it. And as always, make sure you follow us on social media so you don't miss out on anything we share on there. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We post at least once every weekday, including several videos every month that have been created by our staff members. Earlier this week, we posted a staff recommendation video, and next week we'll have a history-related video to share. We'll also have a craft tutorial from one of our adult programmers later this month. You can find all of our videos on Facebook as well as our YouTube channel. That's all we have for today. Thank you for joining us again today for this What's New Wednesday, and have a great week.